Welcome to Sketchy. We take all the super complex stuff you need to learn and turn them into memorable visual stories packed full of everything you need to know on test day. Click the link in the corner or description to try for free for seven days. Now let's get to it. Hey, it's Ben. In this sketch, we'll be covering C. difficile. And that C once stood for Clostridium, but alas, phylogenesis has revealed that it is not, in fact, a clostridial species. It's an imposter. So now that C stands for Clostridioides, so it's Clostridioides difficile. For reasons that are as obvious as they are disgusting, we've set our C. diff sketch in a chocolate factory. While it may be upsetting to think about, it's also highly memorable, and at Sketchy, that's what counts. Anyways, here at the factory, cluster candies with different flavors are the specialty. Moving on with the tour, it's easy to see why C. diff was originally classified under the genus Clostridium. They have a lot in common, at least when it comes to basic features. Like Clostridia, C. diff is a gram-positive bacillus and an obligate anaerobe. We've included some purple rod candies in our chocolate stream to remind you of C. diff's morphology. And these uh, oopsie poopsies are wearing our recurring symbol for obligate anaerobes, anaerobic gas masks. Also like Clostridial species, C. diff is a spore former. Bacterial spores are notoriously hard to kill. They're resistant to a whole bunch of stuff, including heat, radiation, and many chemical agents. Walnuts are our recurring symbol for bacterial spores, so we've sketched some walnuts ready to get layered in a coat of fece uh, chocolate. Yeah, definitely chocolate. Remember, millions of bacteria, and yes, even the bad ones, are quietly present throughout the human body. This is called colonization. However, if something, like an antibiotic, throws off the balance, the so-called bad bacteria can grow and spread, causing some nasty symptoms, and that's called infection. C. diff can be considered part of the normal gut flora, which is why we've included these normal candy flowers. The development of C. diff infection usually requires two factors. The presence of an infectious strain of C. diff in the gut, aka toxigenic C. diff, and disruption of the intestinal flora. We'll start with toxin-forming C. diff. 